If you want to grow your business fast, this is what you want to do. You want to keep in mind these seven different key points. The first one, you want to be able to think about your ideal client. And when I say your ideal client is think of one ideal person that you worked with, that they were just wonderful to work with. They paid on time, they were committed, they did whatever it is that they were, that you were asking them to do. You don't want to try and market to everyone. A lot of people, when they're starting their business, they're thinking, oh, well, my services work for everyone. You know, like I have this amazing sleeping routine that will get you sleeping through the night and it would work for everyone for, moms, dads, single women, you know, whatever it is, single men, but you really want to niche down because once you know your ideal client and like they say, the riches are in the niches, that's when you can get specific in your copy, how you speak to them, how you talk to them, how you create your videos, how you write copy where it's solving their specific problems and you're giving them that specific solution. It's very different to sell, for example, uh, a, a sleeping methodology for young 20 year olds whose system is going to be very different than from sleep deprived moms with babies. You see how very, how different that can be. And yes, the method might work for both of those targets, but you want to get really specific with who you're talking to. The more clear you can get on your ideal client, the better. Second one is you want to grow your leads. You want to start finding leads from wherever you can get on social media, get on, you know, do your YouTube videos, uh, have a news, um, have a newsletter or an opt-in page where you give them something for free in exchange for their email so that they can come into your community. So what you want to start doing is bringing people into your world, into your community to get to know who you are and what you get to offer, which brings me to the third point, And that is networking. Networking is such a, a lifeline for us and our business. The same as leads. You have to, you, if you don't have people to sell to, you don't have a business. So you do have to get out there and network. And I know this is hard for many of you that are introverts. I have a little bit of that issue because I am an introvert, but I'm a social introvert. So I consider myself that when I go to a networking event or, you know, like I'm at a lunch or a dinner or something, I will give it my all, or if I'm participating on an online class or something, and I'll try and connect and network with as many people as possible, because that's what's going to create relationship. And once you create relationship, that's when either that person can become a prospective client, they can become a future client, or they might know of someone that can be a client for you. So networking is so, so important. And here's a little tip on this particular key point. When you go to networking events, you know, don't, I see a lot of people, maybe I'll do a video on this one, going in and wanting to just immediately make a sale. That's like going on your first date and asking someone to marry you. You want to go to networking events with the idea and the consciousness and the intention of getting to know people, creating relationship, and maybe something will come out in the future. It might take a month, it might take six months, it might take a week, it might take a year. So just be patient with that. What The whole point with networking is to build relationship with people. The next, the fourth key point is visibility. You need to get out there. And I know this is one of the biggest fears we all have as business owners. We just don't want to put ourselves out there. We don't want to do the YouTube videos. We don't want to post on social media. We don't want to write our newsletters. You know, like there's this kicking and screaming of having to share, especially if it's a personal brand that your business is based off of, of your personal brand. And I can tell you right now, visibility is such an important part of it because visibility is marketing. The more people know about you and what you have to offer, your goods, your services, your products, the more they're going to come in, but you're not going to be able to share that with, you could be the best kept secret if you're not sharing what those goods and services are. So visibility is a key, key important one too. The next one is make offers. You've gathered the leads, you've grown your, you, you know, you're networking, you're getting visible and you have all these people, you have this audience, but if you're not making them an offer because you're getting tripped up, like, oh, I don't like sales or I don't like doing sales. It's too icky. You know, I feel like a car salesman. You have to get over that 
and you have to make offers. When you make an offer, you're offering something of service. You're offering help. You're offering, you're giving them a solution to a problem that they have. So think of offers and sales as helping people because you have a solution to something that, that they're looking for because they have a problem and you have that solution for them. And the last key point that you want to use as you want to grow your business and you want to grow up fast is continue uh, growing yourself as a person, as a business. Keep reading, keep learning, keep finding the teachers, the mentors, the coaches that could support you in your business journey, but also on your personal journey. You want to learn how to develop yourself as a human being. So learning, learning, learning. You, if you're not learning, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're dying. There's only two ways to go in nature. You're either growing and turning into that beautiful flower or you're dying. So continue learning, learning. So I'll just review these seven key steps to growing your business and doing it fast. The first one is clarity on your ideal client. Then you want to start gathering leads from everywhere you go. Just spread the word. Network, network, network. Get connected with people in your social media groups, any other places. Get out there, be visible. And oh, I forgot one, partnership. After you're getting visible and you're networking, you want to create partnership with people. So that's like the next step of networking. Because when you become partners with other people, you could um, get in front of their audiences and that grows you much, much faster. Like you could offer someone else to be a guest speaker in their group and then they can be a guest speaker in your group or you could have an interview to their email list or vice versa. You know, you could do swaps. If you have a podcast, uh, you could be a guest speaker in their, on their podcast and then you can have them in your podcast. And think about that, the partnership that you start creating with other people and helping and supporting each other instead of being competitive, which is what we've kind of been taught, you know, the patriarchal system is just compete, compete, compete. What about partnership? You create that partnership. You can even be affiliates for other people if you believe in their products and their services. So definitely keep in partnerships. So let's review one more time. Ideal client, grow your leads, network, get visible, create partnerships with people, make offers. And last but not least, continue to grow and learn. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave me a comment below, see which one of these you're gonna work on uh, right now that you know your business needs. Like what is the number one of these key strategies that you wanna use to grow your business? Until our next video, take care.